I'm joined by Jean Mywald. She is the chair of the mission committee at Bower Hill Community Church in Pittsburgh Presbytery. Uh, Jean's congregation recently accepted the Matthew 25 invitation. Jean, tell us about the program your congregation has started uh, through the Matthew 25 invitation. So we accepted, we became a Matthew 25 church in, in March or April, and we decided to focus on ending systemic poverty. And um, I was trying to think of projects that we could do for that. And I just happened to be scrolling in CNN one afternoon after lunch. And I saw that a church in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, had eliminated a whole bunch of medical debt for very little money. And the light bulb went off in my head. And I said, wow, we can do this. We can do this. And then I was thinking, well, who should we do it for? Should we just do it for Mount Lebanon? No. Should we do it for Pittsburgh Presbytery? And I thought, well, you know, there's a lot of need within the Senate, especially since the East Palestine disaster affects a lot of members of our Senate. And I thought, how about if we go with the Senate? So that's our project, is to eliminate medical debt through a program, through a nonprofit called RIP Medical Debt, that's a 501c3, um, an online program that eliminates medical debt. And they do it by, by being debt buyers. They use the debt market just like a regular debt buyer would. They go out and they buy portfolios of medical debt for people who are within four times the poverty rate or who owe debt that's more than 5% of their income. And they buy these portfolios and instead of dunning these people to pay it back or suing them to pay it back, they get donors like us to buy those from them. And then when, when the project is over, they send a letter to each of the people whose debt they bought and they say, hi, your debt has been forgiven. We hope you have a nice day or something like that. I don't know what the letter actually says, but I kind of get choked up when I think about someone just out of the blue getting this letter when you've had this medical debt in the back of your mind for years and years. So that's our project. And so our goal is to raise $500,000. That sounds like a lot. But if every member of the Senate of the Trinity gave just $5, that's a you know, a gallon, less, less than a gallon and a half of gas or a Starbucks, we could easily raise $500,000. And so that's our project. We have a web page on RIP Medical Debt, or we're hoping that people can either give directly or they can give through their church. And uh, that's our project. Dean, how much debt would $500,000 eliminate? Well, theoretically, $500,000 could eliminate up to $50 million of debt because the, the way the debt market works is they buy it for pennies on the dollar. Um, we have a commitment with RIP Medical Debt to eliminate nearly $20 million of debt for $355,000. Now, that's a little more than a penny on the dollar, and I think that's partly because a lot of the really trashy medical debt has already been taken care of because RIP medical debt is becoming quite the topic on the national news. So for us to eliminate $20 million of debt, it's gonna cost us $355,000. That's about 1.8 cents on the dollar. And so That's we're incredible. hoping, I know, isn't it amazing? Where else can you get a return on your investment like that, you know? For five bucks, I can eliminate up to five hundred dollars $500 of medical debt for my neighbors who live within the Senate of the Trinity. Dean, thank you for taking some time today, and we will do our best to uh, assist you in this goal. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it.